will help if I press the right button. Good evening and welcome to the Late Night Vape Show. And I've, I've, Hello. Hello. Or uh, welcome everyone in chat and a special welcome to Dan, our guest for the evening. Hello, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Dan. Terry says I'll come back after the show finishes. Dan. Uh, <laughs> if you could, Terry, it'd be good. Uh, I, I don't think the show will no. finish. <laughs> Say again, Dan. I always thought he was a, tr a troll or something. Oh, no, no. Terry, no, he's, like... a, he's a smashing guy. Is that yeah, he's actually a stalker. Yeah, he's a stalker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to know him in the uh, in the chats in Fagan's show and stuff like that. He actually rings. Is he American? He's American. Yeah, he rings uh, Mark Fagan up ten times a week on the show and then puts a different voice. And he's a really funny man. He's <laughs> not American. It's Rajit. Yeah, that's oh, Rajit. Yeah. All right, we'll Maybe go we'll down go. the. Uh, oh, I'll hit the list that, real quick. Go on. Net reality, uh, watermelon man. What's going on? Uh, uh, down, is he? Tony. Uh, Tony. And Rev, how you doing? Good to see you here. I know. Uh, Terry, Rajit, uh, Sheboygan, Smooth, <laughs> and uh, 8,000 other different AKAs. COVID-19 yeah. COVID response yeah, team. That's right, yeah. Big D Vapes. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Fishing Trips. Good. I'm ready to uh, do a little fishing, so I'll have to hook up with you. Send me a PM, you know. Uh, Simon Bridgewood. Lynn Smith. How you doing, Lynn? Guy. <laughs> Dude. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Hey, Jerry. How are you? Phil thought he was talking to a lady. I, I, did. I did. I thought he was a lady. Yeah. Uh, ATC. Yeah. How you doing? No. Yeah. We got... Uh, I got lost, nope. Bill. Same people. People stop typing. If you type once, don't type anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mark H. has <how's> it going? <laughs> We're going to have to line you all up according to height. You know, because I D.E.? What's happening, D.E.? <laughs> you old guy, you. <laughs> I like D.E.'s uh, comment there. He's Big D getting his makeup done there. Yeah. 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 Blazing Saddles is with us. Wayne King. How you doing, Wayne? The King. And King. Proper King. Coils. Yeah. Proper and Coils. With his, they uh, are quite proper, I might add. With his upgrade. According to what I've heard, yes. And that should about do the list of who's who. Have you said hello to Dion? Yes, I did right. say hello to Dion. Dion was up Amanda there, there as well. Hello, Amanda. Amanda's there. I didn't. Did, did not come across Amanda. No, I didn't and I'm in live that. chat. Yeah. Hello, I mean, Amanda. I was, I was just typing in invisible ink that only Dan can see. <laughs> we, um, we're not used to that many people coming in, to be honest. We, we, is, we that, is that is that name people. genuine, Wayne? Wayne King. Is that is that your genuine name? Uh, no, it's not my genuine name. You know, it's, uh, no, Danny will name. click and collect Thursday if okay. Cheers. Oh, Simon. Simon yeah. says, I guess he won on there, sir. So. Yeah, yeah, he's welcome to pop by my show, at uh, my show, oh, <laughs> my shop. shop. Yeah. <laughs> he said we'll click and collect Thursday, uh, yeah, which is, now, Amanda. I mean, uh, yeah, I see you now, Amanda. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Stuart. <laughs> Hello, you know, Stuart. Bill missed me again. Yeah, well, Stuart, we're a little upset with you. You haven't been showing up on the Tuesday night shows just yeah. to, to stick our info in. Uh, Mick was supposed to talk to you about that. Good prize winner. Who, Bill? At the last Stuart. meeting yeah. we he won one of these Monty pens. Ah, uh, uh, Monty yeah. pen, Monty nice. Pinthon. I was sent out the uh, full collection for a review. Uh, these apparently are going to be fifteen pounds. Nice. These dis big disposable. Ones. They're big and disposable. Pins, they weigh fifteen pounds. No, it's not. It's apparently, really it's not what I've been told vaping? by them. It's what I've been told by uh, another vet reviewer. Uh, fifteen. Ah, uh, yeah. I did the ones with the, cig the cigarette ones. Yeah, vape don't smoke. I think he did a yeah. review. I think Mark yeah. from Solo yeah. did one. I did see well. that. Yeah. I did. That's, I watched. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, they're the bit pricey. Uh, they're, a bit pricey at that. Yeah. Monty Pentons is what they're called. No. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Mank. Yes, uh, uh, vaping Mank. How you doing? Yeah. I, I so for you people who don't know him, this gentleman down below us is. Biggest Dias, yes. Uh, yeah, speaking of Monty Python, yeah. And the yeah. Um, working title from the for the uh, for the show tonight is from Manchester to opposite the Co-op. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. And we have some. <laughs> we have some questions for him. Yeah. Yeah. And because I actually am from Manchester as well, and I have never seen Dan there, I don't believe he's really from there. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess my Manchester was probably a lot smaller than yours. Our town that I grew up in, that I went to high school in, called Manchester High School, by the way, was about 2,500 people. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, there's probably 2,500 people in Tesco in Manchester. Yeah, exactly, in, in, in the shopping centre. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what do they call that shopping center? Uh, you go upstairs to eat. So yeah, the yeah. Manchester High School mascot's name was. I ain't got the, the devil. What was your high the school devil. mascot's name? <laughs> Never went to huh? school. I ain't got it. <laughs> Who? Hang gods. <laughs> what was his? What name was it called? Up? What was the Manchester High School? Where, where, when you went to high school, did you go to Manchester High School? I, I went to uh, I went to North Chatterton. Is that in Manchester? It's in Greater Manchester, yeah. All right. What was your mascot's name? Uh, we don't. It just uh, we didn't have a mascot. Uh, you don't have mascots in British schools, really. You have a, like a you coat don't. of arms. A man oh, you have just a coat a of arms. It's a letter N. I don't remember our school had a coat of arms. To be honest, but yeah. I think See, we had uh, we had a greyhound. That was ours. Now uh, the our Americans are quite patriotic, aren't they? Though they have like we a, were. A, the Manchester Greyhounds. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've watched a lot of films um, since obviously everything's been shut. So um, I've watched a lot of films, and if you ever get an American action movie, the worst thing you can do is damage the flag. <laughs> you can stop them <laughs> yeah. vaping and stuff like that, but you can't damage the flag. Well, right, over right. here, you're not allowed to show your flag because it offends people, so <laughs> yeah. they don't even show the flag anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, trust me, go in the military, you think you can't damage the flag. That sucker hits the ground, you may as well have went ahead and shot somebody. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it cannot touch the ground at all. Yeah. And if it ever does, you know, and I mean, that's you see the one where the guy's got the flag in the movies where he got shot and he's getting ready to fall over and somebody else dives over and saves the flag <laughs> and lets the guy hit the ground. <laughs> that's the honest matter. truth there. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, I didn't know that. I suppose it's that's that's the yeah. way it is, isn't it? I, I would think that's the yeah. way here as well. If if yeah, it it can't touch the ground. Yeah, that is they're very patriotic, aren't they? The Americans. Yeah. I like how they have the uh, national flag in the major cities. You know, yeah. like in New yeah. York, in the yeah. Times Square, and all that. It's, it looks lovely. We've got like about that over four here. sitting right outside our front door right now because it's Memorial Day weekend, ah, which is yeah. like a tribute to the veterans, and uh, you know, and then. Uh, basically, it, it, it all depends. I mean, technically, it's supposed to be more of a veteran type thing. But uh, when I was growing up, Memorial Day weekend, we'd go visit the grandparents' graves or something like that, you know. And uh, now I just go dig my own, you know. So I like, got to get the sink. I ain't got much more time. I got a couple more feet to go. <laughs> yeah, keep digging it. Save some money. And uh, now, Dan, I have a bone to pick with you. I don't know whether or not you all use that term over there. Mm, or not, but, we do uh, so. Oh, just, said. Just, just before yes, we have a okay. fight, normally. Yes, all right. Well, I have a bone to pick with you, Dan. Uh, you keep mentioning sugar, you know, and how you want sugar done away with and all this other Yeah, thing. so I could be slim. Yeah. I'm a sugar fanatic, and I am a sugar lover, and uh, you're going to have to, you have to lay off the sugar talk there, you know, you don't be bad mouthing sugar so much. That's <laughs> you see what it is in, in in the UK. You've got like a lot of people who are very misinformed regarding vaping, and obviously having a vape shop, you want to spread the good word about vaping, what it can do for people who are smoking. But it's got a bad name and a bad image in the UK, and you're getting a lot of people, especially the older people, who will say, "Oh God, it's as bad as cigarettes. You don't want to do that." You know, going on themselves. These are the same people who will go out on a regular basis and get absolutely hammered off the face of alcohol. Yeah. And also, they're abusing sugar, and that's why they're overweight. And uh, people as well. I lay off the sugar. Yeah, you know, that's all. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you look at the top three biggest killers in the world. It is, you know, sorry, top five. Sugar's one of them. Alcohol and fags are another one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, vaping is the bad guy out of all this, and that's killed. Normal. Automobiles are also in that. Yeah. yeah so I yes. don't mean to pick on sugar. Just yeah. Yes. Because so I do I, like sugar. Just, yeah, so do I. You know, I am a, I am a sugar, <laughs> sugar type person. But you know? bad news, I haven't and took sugar for twenty five years, and I'm still fat. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just one second. F uh, Phyllis Ardon, he said, um, <laughs> I found out that vegan meals require a blender. It makes them easier <laughs> to pour down the sink. Pour down the sink. <laughs> 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 you win the you win the chat for the night. Yeah, that's exactly true. <laughs> I can eat vegetarian food, but I can't eat bloody vegan. It just doesn't taste of it. I uh, can't say that I've tried either one. I mean, I have eaten vegetarian food before. I had salad one time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> or is that vegan? You know, I mean, I don't know. You know, is it, of course, it had ranch dressing on it, so I doubt. <laughs> yeah. it. If you guys had a personal chef, though. And he was a vegetarian chef. You could easily live on a vegetarian diet, couldn't you? Can you? No. I, I would love that. No, I could not. My, my I could not. My daughter's a brilliant vegetarian cook. She's been vegetarian for years. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you don't, when you finish the meal, what she's cooked, you don't think, oh, that'd be nice with a steak on it. You yeah. just think that was nice. Yeah. No, It'd be definitely my, healthy, wouldn't you? My brother-in-law's a vegetarian, and he was a chef. And he uh, basically comes here and makes all kinds of shit, and he eats it. And I make my own shit and eat it. <laughs> I don't even attempt to eat. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's just yuck. I mean, that's the only, only word I have for it is yuck. It would be like... To me, vegetarian would be like just vaping PG and VG and not putting anything else in. You know, and no nicotine, yeah. no flavors, no tobacco flavors, no any flavors. No, uh -uh. Yeah, it would just be vaping PG, VG. If that was the case, I'd just go back to stinky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I, I um, uh, Wayne says I eat sugar all the time. I'm skinny. Well, I, I drink sugar all the time because I drink a lot of beer and that doesn't help. And I don't get a lot of exercise because I just don't. <clears throat> but that's like Same with anything, don't it? If you abuse it, I mean, I abuse sugar. I'm fat. Oh. You abuse alcohol, you become an alcoholic. You know, it's just. I used to abuse sugar. Uh, I was a very small individual up until I was in my fifties. Uh, I used to drink probably sodas. Now we're talking regular sodas, twelve ounce cans. I used to drink probably twelve to sixteen of those a day. Really? Yeah. The sugar yeah. content in sodas, and I weighed right around 145 pounds, and I'm five foot eleven. So I don't know what that means. And, What's that in uh, stone? I'm almost <laughs> six foot. Yeah. Yeah. 145 pounds. I'll put it to you like this. Right now, I weigh 190. It's uh, I weighed yeah, about yeah. 50 pounds less than yeah, yeah. when I was. You used about, to drink all that. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it sugar never put weight on me i was yeah. extremely active and, and so what are you like 90 or kilo or something i don't know hmm? what that is we could google it if you want what what, what uh, somebody at? in chat will throw it to us 10 stone Stuart says Pins is stone. 145 pounds that's quite good that's quite good though what, what are you now 190 do you say yeah now i am yeah all ah, right so but i think it's six foot if you was anything below 13 stone you'd be uh you'd probably look ill you know, yeah. he's, well, he's, that's <laughs> I, I was. I'm right about six foot, and I was about ten stone. Yeah, I was 145 slim. pounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, real slim. And I drank, like I said, probably 12 to 16 sodas a day, and I drank alcohol every single day. I had, you know, uh, and it wasn't light beer. Trust me, I drank the heavy shit, the good stuff, vodka, orange juice, whatever else you could mix with stuff. And then whenever I was drinking alcohol, a lot of times I'd have a rum and coke. So I'd yeah. have a few more. Yeah, no, yeah. And yeah, yeah I, I've weighed. I've just look. I put. I've put over half a stone on since this lockdown. Yeah, and I'm uh, just over nineteen stone. So Dan, <laughs> let's, let's get back to a little. Uh, when did you convert from the stinkies to vaping? Uh, initially, it was around probably 2010, 2009, okay. maybe when the very first ones came out. It might be a bit longer than that. Yeah. But there was really, really shit, and you could only get two flavors at the time. It was menthol and tobacco, yeah. and, then I, and then I failed on that. A few years later, you had this, you know, similar shitty devices, the yeah. little tampon string sticking out the bottom, yeah. um, the cartomizers, whatever they're called, and yeah. then you had three flavors: tobacco, menthol, and orange. And then I lasted like another year or so, and then I fucked it off and went back to smoking, and yeah. then in. 2000 and I think it was 16 or something like that. I found the smock um, sub ohm pen. Is it a vet, yeah. the 22 pen kit or something like that? Yeah. Uh, and that that gave me the flavour and nicotine that I needed 
mm. and it really helped me to go on track with vaping full time. Mm. And I've had a few little hiccups here and there. And the, the main thing was for me was when I opened my shop, yeah. you know, I'd have a couple of cigarettes if I went out for a meal, yeah. meal or something like that. Um, and I wanted to give it all together because, you know, I'd done all week without any cigarettes. Yeah. I'd have a, a few cigarettes on the Saturday night. Come Sunday morning, I'd be coughing up loads of shit. Yeah. I'd feel really yeah. awful. My breath would stink. I wouldn't get the wicked way with my missus because my breath would stink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I need to give up. And having a shop has helped me do that. So mm. since then, so, I've been preaching. So when was the last time you were with a fag? Uh, last time I, I spent the night <laughs> with a fag was probably... January 2019. Okay. So. Yeah, I uh, I used to smoke a lot of other things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, those so, those don't count. That's so. Not uh, I've now started to vape those things because I didn't want to do any form of combustion because we all know it gives you tar, carbon monoxide, and you know cancerous things. Yeah, but the tars on my car are kind of nice. I like the tar. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're necessary. Yeah. I mean, so suppose having a vape shops give me a big what, kick yeah. up the ass. You, you couldn't and obviously, go outside and have a fact, could you? Well, you would. No, no, you become more knowledgeable, don't you? And you, you, you well, see what it does. What happens when you go outside with a fag is everybody knows because you're out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> you're stood there smoking outside your own shop. They're like, oh, well, I probably won't go in there. Yeah. I'll tell you what I have noticed since I've had cameras installed on the outside and I, I review them sometimes because I'm quite nosy. You get a lot of people having a cigarette walking past and then they'll stop, turn around and flick the fag on the front doorstep of the vape shop. Really? And that does, that, not yeah, just I've once, seen you're seen talking it. like 10 times yeah. a week or something. Yeah. yeah. And you just think, you swines. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, this is if it is their last sort of fight against uh, people telling them to stop smoking it's ridiculous really but yeah I, I had the odd one I, I had one in january i think that'll be it for this year uh I've Do you really vape thc big d would love to try that who's that that was de yeah. do you vape the big d would you <laughs> no. do you vape thc all oh, right thc uh i do i do vape that yes um also, Subida mm. as well. Uh, I started doing Subida in my shop, so I have that as well. I think having the, you know, the, the plant farm, you get it more stronger and potent, and that's why I like to have that. Um, but I think within the next two to five years, I think it will become fully legal, and I'm set up for that as well. Mm. Uh, because I do believe that, that that particular plant that we're talking about is very useful regarding medical terms um there's so much research now you know more than ever before and it just shows that we don't need big pharmaceutical companies who make trillions of pounds a year to make the governments greedy all over the world you know they want you to have all these pharmaceuticals and i think having natural remedies like the plant i'm talking about i think mm -hmm. that'll stop mm -hmm. all that and they don't want that but yeah. if, you, if, so, you look, if you look at the, the uh, what goes into making tablets a lot of it is natural stuff anyway so they're saying, oh, well, these are our pharmaceuticals or however much. Um, you know, obviously, there's chemical infusion and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm talking about like your opioids that yeah. are uh, very yeah. addictive and one of the oh, biggest yeah, yeah, in right. the world. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah. More so than sugar, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't mention sugar now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can just look and chat, see if I'm there first. That's all. <laughs> we'll, we'll mention opposite the co op. <laughs> Yeah. So the other thing is, is your your in your in your question today was is whether or not you thought it should be vape shops only rather than selling it at the local uh, store or or the, uh, the you know basically I guess the gas station or the you know convenience store or wherever you all have over there that sells and. Yeah, you know, with you having a vape shop, obviously you would have a vested interest in that because that would funnel more people to you. Uh, so rather than being someone who is, cares about the good of the people and gives them more options to be able to do it, you're just a one I care about myself, funnel them all into me kind of guy, right? No, no, that's <laughs> totally incorrect. Um, <laughs> what it is in the UK, I mean, more so in America, that's why you know, you're getting people abusing it by putting – you know, um, vitamin E acetate oil and stuff and people are dying from it. Uh, we don't want that to happen over here. 
Um, so in the UK, you're getting a lot of dodgy shops, corner shops, and I've been in them, probably Mick has as well. Mm. And there'll be total clones of like drinks like Fanta and Coca-Cola. Now, they've got the exact logo on them e-liquids. Now, that is copyright infringement, so therefore it's illegal what they're doing there. So if that's illegal, what's the juice inside going to be like? So what I'm saying is, I think anybody who sells vape products, such as petrol stations, yeah. should all be sort of registered uh, and have yeah. a bit more knowledge about the product. Right. So I'm not saying... Registered is fine, yeah. But, yeah, I'm not saying... Know, band, band personally, then. I'll put it to you like this. Personally, I don't really have a problem with it, of them, because... Uh, from my personal views, I can understand trying to make it so that it's more available to the public. But yeah. by the same token, I, I think that, like you said, the education of someone coming in, because I believe I did similar to what you did. I tried to start on piece of shit uh, stuff. And if you try to start on piece of shit stuff to get off of smoking, most likely you're just going to fall right back over into the smoking range yeah. of it again. Yeah. And if you can go in and talk with somebody and they can find out what you do, what you like, and kind of get you set up with something to get you the nicotine intake that you're going to need to, to get started yeah. and get you flavor, get you interested in it to a certain degree, educated in it enough to where you're interested in it. I believe it's been easier for me. Basically, for me, I started probably somewhere around 2010, 2011, the first time. Made it for a few months, fell off, started again, made it for a while, fell off, started again, made it for about a year, fell off. I don't even think I made it for a year. And this time is basically, and then even then, I was like smoking, vaping, smoking, vaping, or just vaping for a little while, then smoking some and vaping some. I haven't had a cigarette since last, well, June 1st will be a year. Mm. Yeah. And what happened is, is I got the right tanks and the right mods and shit this time to get started on to where the, the nicotine intake and everything was better. Yeah. You're getting dark, Dan. Um, sorry, my, uh, <laughs> my um, monitor's your, just decided your to arm's turn up <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Like, just, right, it's like, all right, I've, <laughs> I've just lost my chat as well, to be honest. <laughs> I've, just, I've just got it on the phone. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've got mine. Yeah. I don't know uh, how to get it back, to be fair, either. It just went off. Dee, when did you uh, leave Manland? Manland. Uh, I left, just, so uh, I live in Oldham, uh, which is just on the outskirts of the city centre of Manchester. Uh, I think Vaping Mank, he's more of a, an official Mank Union. Uh, around near the Salford area, I think you might live in. Oh, oh, you're from around the Salford area. area. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I've uh, I lived in Oldham, and I moved here two years ago to Homeforth. Homeforth is a little village where Last of the Summer Wine was filmed, uh, oh. so it's quite famous for that. It's a little picturesque village, and we used to always come over from Oldham for a day out, and we used to always imagine living here if we ever had the money. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and what was happening in Oldham was my. My, my area was being overrun by cr crime, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I couldn't do nothing about it. And also, I was doing security at Tesco's. Um, I'd done security for quite a number of years, but my final job was in Tesco's. And that's where I saw how bad our country has gone. Because, you know, back in the day when I did security on the doors and stuff, if somebody was really bad repeatedly, you'd give them a little slap around the head or whatever, and they'd stop it where there's laws now where you can't touch people. And one of the things that was happening was people was coming to Tesco's, for example, they were stealing like 48 inch TVs, which mm -hmm. is clearly visible. They was trying to steal it because they'd yeah. walk out this big box. Yeah. You mm -hmm. was told to stop them by putting your hand out saying stop. And you was told to ask them to put the item down and step away. If they said to you, fuck off, mate, I'm leaving with it. You had yeah. to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Tesco policy. Don't don't interact with them. Just let them go. So, so anybody I, that wants a forty-eight inch TV, just head up to Tesco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, the security are <laughs> not allowed to touch them. And I just thought this country has gone to pot. And not only that, though, you know, it, it, we, we had loads of abductions of young girls from certain people. Uh, what going to all that? No, but it, it just annoyed me. I just thought my my my, my town has gone to pot. And because I've got two little girls, uh, you know, obviously I love to death. 
-hmm. The final thing for me was uh, this guy had knocked on my kitchen window and asked my daughter who was eating her food to open the back door. And where I lived, there was a lot of cameras because it's quite a rough area. And yeah. the police said they still couldn't do nothing. Yeah. So I thought, right, so, if you can't do nothing and I'm not allowed yeah. to touch them people who are doing wrong, then I'm fucking right. off. And yeah. I've come yeah. to home first, mate. And it's like they're in a, a time warp where it's stuck in like the, you know, the seventies, you know, there's not a lot of crime. Everybody says hello to each other and it's just awesome. And that's, that's why I moved to home first. I'm a little confused. First off is you said you vape THC and then you're upset because it's gone to pot. Yeah. <laughs> so, which is it? <laughs> I, like having, <laughs> I like to alter my mind sometimes, so I do like to. <laughs> so you don't mind gone to pot. That, that, that's <laughs> a, just a little different. Uh, you know. So do you listen to Dark Side of the Moon when you're doing THC? I like a bit of Pink Floyd, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's so a good question. Yeah. Do, you, do you think Dark Side of the Moon <coughs> is the best album ever, or have you no taste in music? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he actually, he doesn't. I can tell you that because he, they, Mick, you did not catch this, but on his show, they literally ask if you could pick two these two bands. So you either would get Metallica and. Guns and, uh, Guns and Roses, or you got Pet Shop Boys and Wham. Yeah. <laughs> Which two would you pick? And there was actually people saying Pet Shop Boys well, over yeah. Metallica and Guns and Roses. It was blasphemy. I can't I was, believe uh, you even asked the question. Yeah. I'm not mad on Guns and Roses, to be really honest, but I could listen to I'd rather listen I know, to but Wham. I'd, than Wham or, or Pet Shop Boys. I Pet mean, you're, you're, right taking, right you're taking two groups that are basically rock and roll hall of fame and you're taking two, I don't even know what the hell you'd call Wham and Pet Shop Boys and you're actually, um, it's like apples and oranges all, or not even apples and oranges, apples and rotten oranges. You know, yeah. you're, you're comparing something that's not even close. So, so, you can, so what I'm trying to say, off the answer of that, you can judge a person quite well, can't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. They have yeah. no taste in music if they pick Pet Shop Boys and Wham. Yeah, but if you if you look at the Pet Shop Boys, they're one of the biggest selling artists worldwide yeah, yeah. in the eighties. Yeah. And also, if you look at the music, they influence a lot of the dance music that's around today. And that's why you find a lot of rap artists who are massive multi millionaires and a and lot of dance DJs. Rap they all artists, sample. rap artists aren't worth this piece of paper right here. <laughs> 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 it's, it's that we were saying the other day. We were, we were doing a thing about music. We were saying we were saying it's all subjective because you can, you're allowed to like Metallica, Pet Shop Boys, and Guns N' Roses, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And I, 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 and and to be honest with you, yes, I have listened to Pet Shop Boys song and Wham. I mean, was basically Michael George. You know, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, and he that was. was, was, he was I went to watch him in Manchester. Yeah. And, oh, uh, in Manchester. In was Manchester. Dan there? Did you see Dan? I, I see, see, I don't Dan. think Dan's actually from Manchester. I was in Manchester a lot and never saw him. <laughs> you went to a concert there, never saw him. Dan is not from Manchester. <laughs> Dan was born in 1981, not, not, not 1941. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's probably what it is. <laughs> We're like passing ships. The sad, the sad thing is the Manchester that I grew up in is now totally pretty much boarded up. There is... is Really? There is very little there. There's still some houses there. Some people still live there. There is absolutely no businesses. Main Street, you can drive. There's like uh, three red lights. And, and when you're driving through Manchester, basically you can drive through and all you see is just boards on windows of every place going up through there. There's no jobs. There's nothing there. And all of the grocery stores, there's not a grocery store in Manchester. There's nothing there. It, how, it's just totally what shut happened down. to the place was it was it the industry or went down it's just uh there really never was it was farming community is basically what it right. was and farming just pretty much went out i mean that's what kept everything going everybody that lived and would come down mm. and whatever so my next question to you is is uh name three bars on main street in manchester <laughs> and, He's never been there and he doesn't drink a little bit. He's going to go too well. This. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'll go for uh, Big Joe's. No, Big Joe's was a good one, wasn't it? There, there wasn't a Big Joe's on. There wasn't a Big Joe's on Main Street. Yeah, go, keep going. Yeah. Fat uh, 
<laughs> I can tell you a few bars in Manchester, but they're all a few naughty bars. <laughs> well, in Manchester, I'll, I'll give you some names. 27 Club. Really? Gin Ran. Bob's Bar. Sarah. Oh, nearly close. <laughs> uh, you know, basically, I was telling you, Manchester had about 2,500 people. There were probably seven bars on Main Street alone. That's not counting the bars that were off the side. So there was only yeah. 2,500 people. It was the yeah. only town that was wet in the whole county. Yeah. So you've got, like, even the, the county seat was West Union, which was bigger than Manchester, but it was, it was dry. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Do you all have that over there? Is there like areas that are dry and then others? So everything over there is wet. Yeah. It gets, um, yeah. It's quite, your, your, your country is massive though, isn't it? Yeah. But the thing it's is, lot, like even in the state of Kentucky, there are so many counties. Some are dry and some are wet. So if you live in a dry county, you have to drive to a wet county to get your alcohol. And crazy, you can take it back and consume it in your dry county, but you can't buy it there. And the weirdest thing is, is in Kentucky, Bourbon County mm. is dry. That's They're funny. not allowed to sell alcohol. Christian County is wet. <laughs> so it just seems unreal. Figure, it? figure that one yeah. out. <laughs> it's crazy. I think in the UK, though, the government rely on a lot of people buying alcohol to get the tax money from the oh, companies. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, but they do. Uh, I mean, they get their tax money because people just go together. But the only thing about it is, is what happens on the counties along the border, like say along Tennessee. If you're in a dry county there, you drive into Tennessee, buy your alcohol, and come back to Kentucky and drink it. Well, all your tax dollars that you spent just went to Tennessee, not Kentucky, because yeah. you forced them across. It's like gambling. There's casinos aren't allowed in Kentucky. There's casinos all along the Ohio River, just on the other side in Indiana and Ohio. So people drive across the river and go over there, and that's where all the casino money and the tax money that's going, that's big time going into that, is all going to those states. Yeah, and they crazy. haven't got enough sense to realize it's a mile away for crying out loud. Mm. And you're saying we don't want to legalize it. Well, it's already legal. It's illegal mm. over there. It's not like if I go over there and they're like, well, you have a Kentucky driver's license. You can't do. You mm. can but it's just taking the money that the state could have and funneling it somewhere else because you're not allow it. Yeah. It just seems weird, doesn't it? it it's, it's quite corrupt, though, isn't it? When you go down to, uh, you know, lower past the government, it's quite mm. corrupt in America around that area. Yeah. A lot of backhanders and stuff. Yeah. Well, We're here, uh, here uh, basically, basically what it comes down to is, is the horse racing industry is worried that because Kentucky's big horse capital, you know, type thing, that's what Kentucky is known for is horse racing. And they're concerned that obviously it's going to, that people's money that they have left over to be able to gamble with, they wouldn't bet on the horses with, and they put it in a slot machine. You know? Yeah. Is that the same yeah. with liquor though? Would they rather that they didn't drink and they could well, that's that's more of a Bible Belt type thing. You have a lot of people here that are into it. And I see Wayne King said her Trump opening houses of worship. They've been open here. They were opened. Uh, they were they had suggested that they close because of the virus and everything. And then what happened is, is a couple of them took the state to court hmm. and the court sided with the church and said that they could go ahead and open. Yeah. And so they, you know, they opened because of the fact that the court ended up siding with them. And that's another, you know, one of those deals where, you know, you're going to get up because a lot of people believe that, you know, hey, God Night will protect Mike. me I'm going to get the virus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Night, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would be nice. It, it um, makes you wonder. It, it's a thing with religion. You're either religious or you're not. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm generally not, so. Right well, it's that's idea. just uh, you know, like I said, that's just you know, it's one of those things where it it was taken and and they mm -hmm. said they can open, so it really didn't have anything to do with Trump. It's just uh, you know, each state had their own way here. What they done, what they have done here, each state can make their own rules and regulations for what can be open and what can't. So there is no the the government, the U.S. says 
all of this has to be. So every state's opening at different times, different things, different places. Some are allowing 33% in a restaurant. Some are allowing 50%. Some are saying everybody can go in. It's up to the state. You yeah. know, it's not really a, there, there is no directive as far as the government here is concerned for the whole country. You know, it would be like you all with, if you looked at it as Great Britain, as Ireland has their own little deal, you know, England has their own mm -hmm. little deal, Scotland has, you know. They do, they do have some things. Right. Yeah. It's, it's well, I mean, as far as like when you're opening places mm -hmm. up and what you're, you know, COVID related stuff, mm -hmm. everybody has their own, you know, and it's the same way here. It's just, we've got 50 separate little places doing whatever the hell they want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it. Yeah, I suppose it makes it awkward in some ways. But then again, you've got yeah. fifty completely different places. Where I suppose if you, yeah, if you've got an area where, like you said, there's two and a half thousand people, and then an area where there's three million people, then you need to yeah. have different rules right. for different you, places. You've got to have. Yeah, you've got to have. But then with states, that's the other thing is, is it's like okay, if you live on the border and they're opening everything up, and we're not, don't go over there to that stuff they're opening up and bring it back over to us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no, yeah, we sure. wouldn't do that. <laughs> We're not going to go over and eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm begging. <laughs> the thing is, there's no actual border, is there? It's just, you know, you're just going down a road and it says there's the name of a county. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, there's not a, no, it's, it's just, yeah, you just got a sign here. I mean, uh, it's, it's a sign, welcome to this. Now leaving this on the other side is all it says. You just, you, you don't even know you're anywhere different unless you see the sign. If you, you know, blank, you miss the sign. You don't even know you're in another county or, or city or state or whatever. You know, you're just there. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually, uh, we booked to go to New York for next August, uh, for, yeah. just for seven nights. Nice. It'll be the first time I've ever been to America, so I'm looking forward this to it. This August yeah. or next August? 2021? It's next August, yeah. Next oh. August. Yeah, by then they may have it. Well, there should be some some rooms available and shit because there's a lot of people gone that were there, you know. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there is, yeah. Yeah, we booked uh, an hotel called the New Yorker. Um, it's famous for movies. It's been in a lot of movies, so I'm into my movies, me. All right. Uh, Which one's it been in? Anything that you can think of? Uh, Iron Legend. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, Nikola Tes Tesla died there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Nikolai Tesla, what he was called. I don't, and I don't there's know. A, there's, a, there's, a, there's a music. The guy who... who um, yeah. The cars. It, it basically, he was against Edison, is what... Tesla was. Uh, Tesla yeah. and Edison were like back and forth as far uh, as electricity and ACDC. That's, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the Tesla Edison uh, uh, thing. Right. Yeah, one did one thing, one did the other. And then Edison. Yeah. Was it Edison? Right. I, think, I think, was it Tesla who invented something and Edison got funded by the yeah, government? Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was back and forth. It, a lot of it had to do with electrical power between the two of those, is what, what a lot of it had to do with. Uh, yeah. Simon Bridgewood asked Rev, "Have you seen Mark at Nature Vape review on the Yacht Vape Pandora MTL RTA?" Yeah, I saw that. The actually. hell is the no, Yacht Vape? Uh, Wait, is that like review. something new, or is that just a? Uh, you know, I don't know what the Yacht Vape is. Who does it? Pandora, or is that a? Well, it is. Uh, it's obviously the name of the things you got. You don't. You don't have it in your shop, Dan. No, we don't. We don't have a lot of um, higher end like RDAs and RTAs and yeah. stuff like that because yeah. people don't buy them. No. Uh, well, unfortunately. Let me, let me ask you this, Dan. Do you do you own a Mac? Do you vape on Macs at all? Um, I've got what it's a single coil Mac, but I don't really vape on Macs to be honest with you because mm. a I'm single so coil Mac. Learning. How can so you yeah, have a single coil Mac? A Mac doesn't have a coil in it. I mean, you know, yeah, I'll show you. It's sort of a semi one. Which one? That is one it? there, by EH Pro. Is it regulator? Or is it just mechanical? It, it's, I don't know if they call it semi. Is it semi? They call it semi mech. You put your battery in, and it's got a five ten on it, though. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm not, not fully into mech because I'm not really clued up on them enough, and yeah. I don't want to. Ruin myself. You want to get into them at some time, or is that? Yeah, just... yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, I used to just vape on subom and pop kits, and then I uh, ventured onto RTAs and RDTAs. My, my latest mm -hmm. one is the uh, Steamcrave Aromamizer V2. Yeah. 
And right, I just yeah, ordered the 20 mil glass. That's brilliant. Lovely flavour. Mm. And it's quite a, you know, an interesting bit of kit because you've got your three different decks. You've got your single coil, meshed, dual. Yeah. Uh, so it's really good. Uh, so I'm still getting to that sort of area first and then I'll work my way up. Yeah. I've seen some reviews on that. It's yeah, uh, basically got got a little bit of everything in it, but the damn thing's huge. Yeah. You know, it mean, is. It's massive. Yeah. You, know, you, you really, you have to duck when you go through a door when you have it with you, don't you? I mean, you can't actually just kind of walk through. you got <laughs> to kind of duck down and get Yeah. Get it. I, I mean, mean, when I get the, the glass 20 mil, on it, yeah. There. yeah, but 20 mil, I mean, really? What do you do if you if you put 20 mil in there and you, you know, after you vaped about 5 mil of juice, you get tired of it. What are you going to do with that other 15 mil? Pour it back in a bottle? Yeah, you think, yeah. I've done that with it. Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. <laughs> I mean, I always make sure I get juices that I like, though. Yeah. I've yeah, literally tried thousands of juices. The thing is with that, though, is I was saying, if you, you just imagine if you're driving a lorry or a car and you're going to London and you'd, you'd never have to, would you? You'd never have to. There's nothing the worse than getting three quarters of the way there and looking down and your tank's empty. You're like, oh, my life, you either pull up and fill it up or you you know, you're thinking about yeah. it all the time. Whereas, well, you take more than one, you know, it's like, no, you know, I don't. Too, is it? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, yeah, there is because I don't like the same flavor all the time. I mean, I I've got, same. I've got, uh, juice and that. I've got juice and that. I've got juice and that. I've got juice and that. And I've got juice and that right now. And I've got batteries and all of those. And I'm vaping all five of them. I just pick up Pick one yeah. up, vape it for a while. Doesn't, that doesn't really work, though, if you're going out somewhere. Does it? If you're driving a lorry for a living, no. it doesn't really work. But if I go out, I take the Boost, and I take the uh, Vinci, and usually what I'll do is, is I'll take one of my mods, and I'll put it in the car. And so when I'm in the car, I vape it, and then whenever I get to where I'm going, I have the other two in case one of them breaks, in case one yeah, of them right. does whatever else. Mm. And it's like when I smoked. I always carried my Zippo lighter in my pocket, yeah. And a big lighter in my pants pocket in yeah. case that Zippo stopped working yeah. or whatever else. I always had a yeah. backup light. I, yeah. Yeah. I always had a pocket full of yeah. lights. Now I've got a pocket full of tissue. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing about vape, isn't it? It's quite a, a big uh, industry now, you know, and there's so many people <laughs> that become connoisseurs within that community. And it's good that there's different devices and kits that you can work with. Well, um, it, suits, it suits you all, doesn't it? That's, that's the thing about it. Yeah. I'm, I've got to be honest, I've no real interest in pods. If I see a pod system being reviewed, I'll, I'll have yeah. a quick look at and could probably even give it a like, or, you know, just, but I don't very, yeah. very rarely watch it because I've just got yeah. no interest in it whatsoever. It's the same thing. I think what it comes down to is, and I think in a lot of cases, if you look at the reviewers and you look at their numbers, their pod system numbers are always a little smaller. Mm. And I think it's because mm. the hobbyists, so to speak, are not pod people. Mm. And the hobbyists are the ones that are probably paying more attention to reviews and stuff like that when new stuff comes out to find out what it is and so on and so forth. Mm. The people who are using the pods are the ones that are just now getting into vaping. They're not the hobbyists. A lot of them don't even know reviews exist. I never knew reviews existed Man. on vape products until, you know, basically probably within the last nine months to a year. Yeah, I never it's, watched a review. Sometimes they'll, and, not, they'll never move on, though, will they? Because they're no interest. Yeah. They just don't want to smoke right. cigarettes anymore. And if they can yeah. pick a 50 quid pod up and they, that takes right. years to smoke cigarettes, that's all they're ever going to be into. And then, So when you're like reviewing us. a pod, you're, you, you really, you're, the, the people, there's a lot more people who use pods, mm. but a lot less people probably yeah. who watch reviews. Yeah, exactly. you know, yeah I agree. Out of, out of that. So it's, that's, I don't really, I mean, I'll pop on a pod review and take a look at it. if somebody's mm. got one that I'm like, oh, I wonder how that thing works or whatever yeah. else. But now that I've had the Boost and the Vinci, mm. I'm like, you know, there ain't. I, I don't really see where they're going to get much better flavor out of a pod than the Boost. Well, I, I, yeah. I've got a friend, and it's like with tobaccos and that. Um, I've got a friend that's never ever vaped fruit flavored juice it all is ever vaped it's yeah. tobacco and i say to him well mm -hmm. why don't you try a, a juice you know a, a, a strawberry or something like that yeah he said i never wanted to pack up eating strawberries he said i wanted to stop smoking yeah. so i said i'll just stick yeah. with it and see i had i had a friend who's similar he smoked nothing but tobacco flavors because he was like i want something that's like what i had that's what i was trying to get is that that deal and I was like, you know, the thing that come down to with me is, is I was trying to get away from tobacco. So I don't vape tobacco flavors right. because that's what I'm trying to get off of. You know? Look at this. I'll just show everybody. I don't know. I'm 
I've just mm-hmm. I'm doing a review, my first edited review, and Les from um, the Jeep's cabin sent me this. Look how gorgeous that is. Can you see it? Yeah. It's mm-hmm. all going to nice. fall out if I do it wrong. So yeah. it's got um, it's, like, it's a gift set that they sell, and there's um, there's four different 50 mils of tobacco, and they sent me the the, the, the bag full of 10 mils reviewers kit as well. Comes with a, an unbreakable mug and. Um, it's nice, it really is nice. I've just, I'm just done with doing a review for it. The first edited one I've ever done. I thought I'd try that. He's, so, he's such a nice guy as well, Les. Mm, he really is yeah. a gentleman. And the fact that we, he's so passionate about getting these certain types of flavors for his, you yeah. know, NET tobacco products, mm. it's great to see. Um, yeah, and I don't think there's it. anywhere in the UK that I've read about or seen reviews of that are any better than him. He's probably the best for NET tobaccos. Well, they, the one I tried before, I'm not saying what make it was, but it's. If you vape it in the house, you can't stand the smell of it. It smells like 20 old ashtrays. Uh, and the yeah. smell of it, you can smell it in the cupboards. And, but that, there's no smell. If you stick your nose over the bottle, there's no smell whatsoever. I've been, I've tried one today. I've been using it in this for most of the day. And to be honest, we were saying it like the Tom Thumb cigars that we get over here, the little, the real small 10 in a box thing, yeah. that tastes exactly like one of them. Mm-hmm. But when you've, when you've stopped vaping it, there's no more smell. It's gone. Whereas yeah. if you if you actually smoked a cigar, it'd be all over your fingers, all in your face. Yeah, you'd still be tasting yeah. it. It's, it's, Lynn it's, said, it. Lynn said he vaped for two years before he watched it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 mean, I think I did. Like to I said, be honest. Yeah, I don't think I don't really think that's that's that far fetched because no. people don't necessarily watch. You know. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Simon says I'm a hobbyist, but I like to fetch for salt nicks and stealth device. But I have just got on to net tobaccos, which I really enjoy. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, I don't I don't like salt nicks. Uh, I, you know, I I prefer just regular nicotine. Yeah, it makes me cough. And I, I sent Dan. I had some twenties. I sent them to Dan. He loves it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, I've had them all. I and, <laughs> and I do I do the boost if I go golfing. Hey, I got the word in, Baz. How you doing? By the way, yeah, like Baz. You say hi to Baz. <laughs> Dan, Dan, he's not listening. Earth to Dan. Sorry, man. Dan, Sorry. You have to say hi to Baz. Hi, Baz. I couldn't. What it was? I can't see him in chat. No, he's not in Who, chat. Baz? He he's not in replay. chat. He watches the replay. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. So, hello, Baz. He left yeah, us a right. really nice, uh, nice comment once. So we always say hello to him. Yeah. And he comments and everything. Yeah. He watches every oh, single. Yeah. Yeah, he watches us at later on because he can't watch us when we're live. People bug him and he can't pay attention as much. So he gets time when it's just him and us. And we're kind of yeah. like a little family type thing sitting around eating. And he has a vape and has a drink. And and <laughs> basically, he likes for us to talk about golf, but Mick doesn't necessarily like to he, do that. Yeah, but he also his. drinks Yorkshire tea and vapes uh, Les's his- um, juice, so he's not far away. Yeah. Uh, JD said, yeah. I always use juice from Lezzers, whether it's NETs or regular juice. Only issue is his shop is two minutes away from me, so it cost me a fortune. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I tell you what, yeah. though, his prices are very low. Very mm. low. You know, he does it for the love of it rather than yeah, to make does, it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it's only two minutes away, it doesn't cost you anything in fuel. You yeah, know, so you're that. saving there. Look at it that way. You don't have to ride a bus, you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to pay shipping, you don't have to pay all this other stuff. So you're probably saving money when everything is. I think he's uh, he's 50 mils of NET tobacco. I think they're lower than 10 quid. And yeah, yeah. you know, for most brands, at a similar standard, you, you're talking like 20 quid because of the process that's involved in making them. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Did you watch Benny's yeah. show when he was on there with the? Um, yeah. he, had a, he was showing us how he made it and stuff like that. And so yeah. we're on, we were on about the different show. Benny and There's more than just Benny on there. That's thank it you. Was episode that's seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the Northern Union Vape Show twice. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to get some liquids off him when all this uh, Corona virus has fucked off. Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to go down to his shop, you see. I never got round to doing it, so yeah. Wait, me some. So how far is that from you? It. Probably about 50, 50 minutes away, maybe. All right. So how many uh, miles or whatever? Because oh, see, when you say 50 minutes, what what speed do you all drive at there when you're going there? 30, so 40. Yeah. Clicks, kilometers an no, hour, we're on miles. Or we're on miles. miles you're, on you're on miles. miles. Yeah. Yeah. You're on miles an hour. Yeah, okay. The thing is, thirty like or forty. Good grief! I can't imagine driving thirty or forty miles. Well, the trouble is, he, 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 
the, the road from Dam's place is to Manchester and, and past there is most of yeah. it's single carriageway, so you, whatever you get stuck behind, that's where you stay, and the hills are like this. Yeah, so it's the tractor. Can... The tractor yeah. that comes out pulling a load of hay or whatever that's else. It, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. See here, they make the road like four lanes, so you can get yeah. around that son of a bitch. Yeah, you know, so yeah, you don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, here it's like yeah, I can get, I can get quite a distance in fifty minutes. I yeah. can, uh, you know, I can travel quite a ways. Well, they, fifty it, minutes for me is quite far. Fifty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, because see, if I'm doing like, well, let's say for instance, if we're going up seventy-five to go up to the boat or something, I'm doing about eighty, eighty-five yeah. mile an hour. Yeah. You know, so in fifty minutes, you know, I'm I'm going to end up going, you know, well, you're nearly eighty miles away. Yeah. Well, well, Billy, yeah, I can. Have you been to the UK yet? No, I haven't. Yeah. No, we don't. Have you, have you wanted to, or you've never got around to it, or what? Uh, I see. When I was in the service, I went uh, Pacific because when you got stationed, it, once you got into what they call a theater, you were either in the Atlantic or the the Pacific, and I was in the Pacific, so I've been to like Okinawa and Japan and uh, basically all over there. Now, then, I was uh, I was I've come back through Europe. But just basically plane uh, stop in Spain, Italy, and a few places like that. But as far as getting into the UK, no, I haven't actually yeah. never went up mm. that far. Because Ameri Americans don't realize until they get over here how small it is and how yeah. condensed it is. Mm. So Well, it's not really going. that so much that. It's just you have a very high population on a, on a small piece of land. As yeah, it's like 70 million period. people. Yeah, um, so it's quite hard to do seventy mile an hour in most places, and, and like Japan's said, the same way. Japan over there, when I was in Japan, it was like uh, 35, 40 clicks. You know, I mean, and and we came back to the states. We rented a car, and Frisco was going to drive to Reno. Me and a buddy of mine. We've been over there for I was in Masao for twenty two months, so almost two years. And then I'm driving what uh, forty clicks, so about twenty five mile an hour all over the place. That was your speed. And then we get back here, we get on the interstate. Well, it was 70 mile an hour uh, was the speed limit. Well, we couldn't get the car to go 70 mile an hour, scaring the shit out of us going that fast. It was <laughs> like, know. oh, my God. Because you got used to not doing that. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. used to driving 25 and mm. you know, 70 was like scary as hell. It was worse than the roller coasters you all were talking mm. about. You know? Yeah. yeah where, where I live, it's not that I mean, we, we, there's, a, there's a town here, and then there's two. There's a town 17 mile one way and 17 miles the other way. But um, there's yeah. a lot of places is just sort of villages in between, small sort of, sort of villages. Some of no shops. And your support. your roadways aren't. You don't really have that much like four lane highways no. that run up through and stuff. You have more. Yeah, no, we've got the the M1 and the A1 that sort of go up the country. Um, but mm -hmm. especially the A1, you can get on the A1 in Scotland and get off in London. Um, mm -hmm. And it's it's now sort of two and three lanes as, as such, but the yeah. used to roundabouts um, until ten years ago, yeah. you had to pull up for a roundabout every five miles. Well, that used to just yeah. make queue after queue after queue. So they've got rid of yeah. all them or most of them. Um, but where, wherever you can get your foot down, there's usually some sort of speed system to, to slow you down. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. yeah they're everywhere. Yeah. Speed cameras. Yeah. yeah. Dandy, have you tried any net tobaccos? Does not name put you off on them? Um, I've tried Leslie's uh, net tobaccos, uh, and I'm not a lover of tobacco at all. And the only one that I've sort of thought was okay was Dark Star's tobacco and Nasty Juice uh, Silver Golden Bronze. So when I tried Leslie's, it was probably the most genuine mm. flavor of tobacco mm. you, I could find, really. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, Dark Star for me is the biggest seller, uh, and it's won awards as well in the, in the e cig click awards back in 2019 so it's a good one but good i think leslie's is a lot better dark star do one uh an oxford tobacco and it tastes just like smoking cigarettes just exactly like it and yeah I, there's I, the, that, that. That's, I think that's the mixology one isn't it from dark star mm, there's another one i, I just yeah, I got i got the um, 60 mil of it and i've gone in no time i loved it i absolutely loved it did you give me the edge to smoke cigarettes and yeah. Wayne King mentioned watermelon net. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. What, net likes a watermelon. Net's yeah, gone, Net's a it? big watermelon guy. Net, Net's yeah. probably disappeared because you keep teasing him. <laughs> no, he was coming in getting jabs in. It's just, the uh, Sheboygan COVID-19 response team that says, wash your yeah. hands. 
Yeah. And Stewart says straight up the A1 for me, so 80 mile per hour ish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so right. if anybody passes you flying on the A1, you know it's Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> no watermelon. <laughs> Bless him. <clears throat> Do you ever mix any of your own juice, Dan? Or is that a silly question? Because you've obviously got gallons of it stood it, behind you when you're Dan, the, Benny tried to show them how, but Dan flunked the course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. So uh, Benny did one in my shop with me. Um, I do find it interesting, and I think it's probably an art form in itself to make the right sort of juice that tastes really good. Mm. Uh, and that's why I appreciate people like Les, because, you know, they've, they've mastered certain liquids. Um, but I've got loads. I get all three. So, yeah, of course you do, yeah. And, and I'm not, they, they, a lot of people, they always say, oh, God, it's a bit pricey. But it is a commercial premium brand that what I deal with. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when you go on the lower ones that are like five to ten pounds, there's a massive difference in flavour yeah, yeah. with them compared to like your fifteen pound bracket. So I tend yeah. to stick with those ones, mm -hmm. uh, and because they are nice juices, I don't feel a need to make my own because I get That's them for right. free. Yeah. Speaking of juice and net, I uh, got a question for you. I mixed the vanilla and the uh, lava cake. Uh, how long do you let that steep before it stops tasting like shit? Yeah, you know, because I tried to vape it today. It had steep for basically about a day. And yeah. I'm assuming it probably needs a six months steep or something. I wouldn't have thought it would because there's only two things in it. The only thing in it is lava cake and vanilla. But it's the, God, it's it's the cream, isn't it? It's the cream. Yeah. It's dessert. So it needs it need three or four weeks. It's not. It's lava cake and vanilla ice cream. Yeah, yeah, that's well, it. That's dairy, yeah. isn't it? So it's dessert. Three weeks, he says. Okay. Go, so. Yeah, I can tell you one thing. Don't vape it after one day. No. <laughs> Holy crap, was that bad? I made some up last Wednesday, and it's gorgeous. There was that drumsticks one, and then a, a strawberry lemonade, and that it smells amazing. And um, but that's that's due on Wednesday, so and that's mm -hmm. that drip act stuff that you mix at fifteen percent. And um, so, what are you? Uh, you're you're mixing. Uh, you said strawberry? It was strawberry lemonade. It, it just comes oh, okay. in, in a thing and you drop it in and then put your PG yeah, shot. in. Yeah, like a shot, mm. yeah. It says mix it at 20%. Mm. And I mm. just mixed it at 15 And um, Drip Axe are a good brand, though. Drip Axe yeah. and uh, Flavor Boss and Dark Star. They're probably top <laughs> three brands in the UK. for five ninety nine for 30 mils. And obviously, at 15%, um, you're going to get um, four mixes out of that, aren't you? So apart from the PG, VG, and you, so you, chances are you, you'll get 400 mil out of it. Yeah. Uh, Drip Axe as well, they've gone to uh, wholesale for retail shops. Have they really? Where you can, I mean, their, their juices are quite flavoursome. You can pick mm. up like wholesale, the yeah. salts for like 80p. Good deal. Uh -huh. um, you know what I mean? So there's good profit margins. Mm. Yeah. But it just shows when... how low it costs to produce yeah. them. Yeah, these definitely. other brands are charging a fortune. Yeah. When did you decide to start using the other camera to do your buffet? Yeah. Um, because Benny kept saying my camera was too far away. Um, so I decided to bring the second camera in. So it's Benny's fault. Yeah. It's Benny's fault, yeah. Oh, okay. fault. So are you still vaping on the same stuff that you were vaping on on the late, I mean, on the NUVS show? Or uh, I, 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 just... I probably use 10 different, diff different uh, devices every day. Um, yeah. I leave the shit ones on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been vaping on the uh, Druga Narada Pro. Yeah, good. yeah it's, it's good. There's an RBA that you can get for it, but I think the stock coils are quite flavoursome. Mm. It's a very tiny kit. Mm. Um, and then I've also got the Geek Vape Ages pod. What's which that, is also a decent pod. It's very good for a, a new starter because you're not going to damage it because it's waterproof, shotproof, dustproof. Yeah. Yeah. Is it as good as a boost? Um, it's not flavor wise, yeah. it's, no. no, it's not as good. It's not, it's, it's nearly there, but not quite. Yeah, that's um, a Yeah, I tend to go different, different ones. Best sig, li sig liquid is better prices for uh, bottle shots eight pound 98 for 250 mil. I think that's add your own and VG yeah. PG. Yeah, yeah. That's when I first started doing anything to do with making anything, that, you know, I used to buy the PG VG mixed up and then get the um. And nicotine off them and, and then just mix it all together and shake it up into a 250 mil and some of the dark star stuff you can get for a tenner to do that the strawberry custard uh -huh. one uh -huh. but you, yeah you, they, i think uh 
DIY mixing as well has gone up probably tenfold since the coronavirus because oh, yeah. people can't watch and online is still available. So yeah, yeah I mean online's all right, but I don't know about you. Well, you you have a shop, but if I order something, I wanted to turn up then. You know, two yeah. weeks after <laughs> I ordered a um, peacemaker off a UK site. It turned out it was a drop shipper from China, so it took a month. But I definitely yeah. use them again. But I mean that that peacemaker wasn't available anywhere. Um, so that's where I got it from, and it turned up in three weeks. So they've got horrendous reviews because they tell everybody that it's going to be there in a week, and then it turns up in a month. But I false put, advertisement. Yeah, I actually put in a review. I put the, the reason these people have got bad reviews is because they tell fibs, fibs about the shipping dates. If they just told the truth and said, "Oh, actually, in China it's going to be a month," people would say, "Fair enough." Yeah. Well, I think what they, so you order once and you figure that out, and then you either order from them again or. Yeah. You're like, screw it. I, I don't want to wait that long. Yeah. And like you said, if it's. Who uh, buy from China, there's always something not quite right with the device. Um, many. Think, what, yeah, Benny's. What I've, well, many other people <laughs> that I know. People who come in my shop saying, oh, look, I've got this Geek Vape Boost for like 20 quid. You charge mm. 35 or 40 quid. Mm. And then they're like, a month later, they'll come back in saying, oh, can I have a Geek Vape Boost? Mine's fucked. And I think what it is, they have different quality control. Yeah. In the warehouses, they have probably like a set one for wholesalers to sell to retail, and another one for online. And you also have, because there's no copyright laws, little setups around the main manufacturers who are copying those products mm. and then getting them out into the mainstream. And that's why you get people like Benny, mm. big love, brother, big love, Benny. Um, <laughs> when, when you buy Boost, like he did, it hasn't got the right pod on it, so it keeps fucking clicking out all the time. Which is um, the worst, worst thing. In, <laughs> you might as well. Not bother sending you, but just throw it in the bin, and they say, "Gotta see if Benny quick. can do this. <laughs> yeah. If Benny can do this with this, with one hand, then, <laughs> then we can get him to do it with the yeah, other Benny. hand. And just put the two hands together, Benny. That's all you really have to do. Tropical issues. <laughs> he just recently, he just recently bought the Oxford, which I did a review on, and I think it's really yeah. a nice device. For, I know you don't like pod systems, but for well, pod yeah. systems. But, uh, and it's the yeah. same guy who went on his own who designed the Boost and all the other ages yeah. lines. Right. Like the X and the Legends, he designed all them and went on his own and brought this out. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this one that I got, it doesn't make a rattle or anything, but mm. one, the one that Benny got that he only pays, I think, 25 quid for, it's rattly as fuck. Mm. So there's obviously a different... Yeah, a different grade. Yeah. Like you say, you need some duct tape. That's all you need to do is just put the battery in there, oh. take some duct tape, yeah, tape that son of a buck in, and, you know, it'll See, stop rattling. Yeah. You, you want thing is you want things to be right i can't stand things that rattle it drives me insane i'll spend half an hour trying to find a rattle in the car because i just can't be doing with it it just drives you mad and you yeah. know you ain't gonna put up with it have you? and i'd rather spend the extra money i mean that's the first thing i've ever ordered that's come from china apart from a, a dodgy nokia once that i just threw away when it got there because <clears throat> it was that bad because you're not going to send it back are you no, no, and they know that, and don't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you pay 20 quid for someone and it's £15 to send it back. You know, you think, well, what's the point? Yeah. Some of yeah. the sites you can go on to and just look at them and tell oh, the, yeah. the stuff shit. I mean, it's yeah. like there's times when you can look at something and you're like, that shit. Oh, yeah. that shit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, even the standard of the site, sometimes it can be terrible. Yeah. some, And that's that's where some of it comes from is – you're looking at the site and you're thinking, eh, yeah, there would your net would be able to tell you a 10 mil of wonder flavor, strawberry cheesecake, mm. two pounds makes 500 mil. Nice, mad, it? And unless you're making watermelon with it, and then basically, it, you know, two pounds won't make 500 mil because it just all goes in the bin. Have you, have you ever had anything <laughs> um, disappointing from China then, Wayne? Because you said you never, you never buy anything at full price. You always buy it from China. Never had a bad item. Never item. had a bad item, yeah. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? And then, you know, next time you can get... So this, this, that peacemaker that came, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Apart from the bloke that's wicking, it's not that good. Yeah. LJM, what's going on? Oh, LG. I mean, I've had a few clones from China. They've always been all right. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, RDS. They've mm. always been okay. Well, our, well, I can't say that. I have one clone, and it was a total one. piece of shit, but it wasn't from China. It was from Texas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I stopped ordering from Texas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, CVP, the vaping postman, he did a lot of his early reviews with um, clones. Did he really? 
Yeah, yeah, he, he was. That's all he could afford, uh, and they've done yeah, wonders yeah. for him. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you can get a clone that's just as good, or you can get a clone that's a piece of crap. But you can also buy something that's not a clone that's a piece of crap. Yeah, so, it's, you know, I mean, it's it's some of it is cheaply manufactured and just thrown together to clone it and have materials aren't as good and this, that, and the other. But in a lot of cases, it, it, making an RDA isn't really rocket science. If you pull one apart and, you, and you've got somebody that looks at it and they're like, oh, hell, I can make that, hmm. then it's not like they're, there's so much precision there and so much that has to be exactly this or exactly that that you know, making a clone of something in the, in the vape industry in a lot of cases isn't really that difficult, I don't think, you know. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Wayne said he's got a, a goom clone. I've got a, um, I've got one of the original clones, and then I thought the second one was the clone, but it turned out it wasn't. And then I got the, is it the goom 25? <clears throat> and I don't rate that at all. I think it's terrible. It, it feels really cheap, and it wasn't a clone. I got it from a vape shop. Yeah. And it's working. Mm. Dan's working four hours a day right now. I'm, I've um, I've had some hours in this weekend. To be honest, it's, it's taking its toll on me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you just weren't used to it now, huh? No, right. <laughs> I, was, I was sat there thinking the other day. I thought, well, when I've got to actually work for a living, it's going to be a bit of a shock. Yeah, I went out golfing. Uh, yeah. Sorry, man. I got I got this idea, Mick. Have you got that the Asgard for if millimeter? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I've got a couple of them. I love mine. Got, yeah, it's awesome. I got really the good. smoked out one, which is like plastic basically and oh. I've got the um, copper one and I like the smoked out one better because you've got to clean it <laughs> yeah but it's uh, cool it's really good for yeah them. they are good oh they're definitely yeah yeah they are good yeah but do you where do you get your coals from do you make them yourself or do you buy them in or do you do uh, I make them or? myself or I just use these cheap ones me with so for <laughs> the aliens uh, but I do make them myself as well it's just that I'm not as cleaned up as you so I can't well I'm not cleaned up either I mean, you need to get some proper coils. Yeah, you want to get some yeah. proper yeah, coils. Yeah, I need to get in contact with proper coils and also yeah. West Yorkshire Vapor coils. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think the thing with West Yorkshire Vapor uses cheaper wire, but they're still mm -hmm. good. Yeah. But they're yeah. at a lot, lot lower price where with proper yeah. coils, he's more premium. Uh, but he's had a lot of good feedback from, you know, vaping with Vic. Vape's yeah. got... Yeah. Mick's got some proper coil stuff in his. Yeah, yeah, I noticed on his, uh, his photos and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's he's got problem. some... Some banging flavor, he said. That. And basically, I can tell you because I've got—I don't have any of those—but I've got some that I got from uh, Lethal Coils. Yeah, and, he's good. And yeah, basically, nice. the flavor you get off of those coils is better than the flavor you get off of like the Watofo or mm. the whatever else. It's just, yeah. you know, your. Uh, but that does in um, Jordan. They sent me some over from um, Mitch uh, Green. Mitch Green. I tell you what, they're good or not. Yeah. Really, they sent me a set of um, parallel ones, and they're fairly low build. But and and I'd been making my own with some um, some wire I bought, which was good wire as well. But the difference is unbelievable. Yeah. And um, Mitch doesn't charge much at all for his <laughs> coils. But I, I, they actually sent me them. For, um, well, Des uh, Jordan bought them, and Des posted them. Obviously, they came over from America, and I would probably order some off him as well. But it, it, obviously, with um, proper coils are in Ireland so they come over in a week whereas if I order them from uh, America I've got to wait while they're posting over again. Uh, which... I like uh, our proper coils has his own little channel now where he, he mm. shows you how, to, how he builds them and stuff. Um, yeah. so I've been watching them as well. JP? JP? Jup. Yeah, but I, Japan. I, Japan. Speak of the devil proper you know. coils. <laughs> he's yeah, in yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's been there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, He's been there all the time. He makes coils while yeah. he's listening to us. Yeah, he does. Okay, and I gave he, him a he imagines wrapping them around your neck. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him a, a .co.uk the other day, and it turned out he's a .com. So yeah, I've still put yeah. a link in if you want. If you put Flat Cap Ten in the um, or yep. Little Bro Ten, if you decide to order from him, you'll get ten percent off. Yeah. I don't forget telling me where it is. Yeah, <laughs> at the late night vape show. <laughs> I've got some more coming over for that uh, peacemaker because I want to run it on. Um, series I'm, I'm just the same as what bill does on it i want the uh van de vape is it matte or something like it looks a bit like the brunhilde with oh, yeah. the old metal coils mm. 
mm. going into the uh, the tank to suck up the juice to your uh, RDA unit. Uh, it looks really cool. I've not I've not seen it. that Brunhilde looks good, but they're a lot of money, aren't they? 150 quid, aren't they? Is it yeah, Brunhilde? yeah. And I also fancy the Van de Veer Widowmaker. That's quite a tall tank as well. You like I've the tall tanks? That. Yeah, just to fit more juice in, basically. Because mm. I go through juice like a motherfucker. Mm. Honestly, I've well, got it. All this day. one's not that tall, and it holds nine mil. They're nice, Sam. Um, that's that's the the peacemaker. That's what I've got. I've got one of them. Yeah, this uh, Vapor's Cloud Trilogy RTA. That's a really nice tank. It's, it's very yeah. silent as well. Did you get it wicked? Mm -hmm. Because is that the one that everybody's saying that didn't wick very well? Was that the trilogy? Yeah, I'm all right. Mm. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm new to RTAs. I start, only started wicking them and I've bought this new one and the first time I wicked it, it wasn't too bad. The second time it was a bit worse and now it's absolutely terrible. So I've got to have to look at that. <laughs> I mean, I like RDAs but I can't be asked to keep dripping all the time. Oh, yeah. It doesn't edit. Well, I've, yeah, always, I, I've always done it. Yeah. I do a it's drip a every now and then. I've got so. one on here. As a matter of fact, I've got the uh, uh, Now going off that mod, you definitely like headshot boys. Yeah. Huh? It does. Yeah. Right. Going it, this, now, going off this mod, I like Benny vapes because it was like uh, Black Friday. Uh, and now all they had left was the rainbow. And I think I gave $14 for this mod. Yeah. I mean, you can, buy the, you can buy the zinc alloy frame for like five quid, you know, if you want a different color. Yeah. I, I only vape it at the house. Yeah. So no one sees it. Yeah, good. Well, nice when I hold thing. it, I'm in front of a camera here with everybody watching. But other than that, <laughs> yeah. But what I was doing it for was because what I have in here is some watermelon strawberry, watermelon, 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 <sighs> watermelon strawberry, and I was doing it for uh, Nets benefit. It's good. You know? <laughs> he's a nice guy, isn't he, Graham? Yeah, he's good laugh. Yeah, I, I yeah. just can't do watermelon. I was on Benny, oh, Benny and friends, and I ended up getting drunk with him in the Zoom room after. Net don't drink. <laughs> I've never seen Net drink. I was, Mick's I was always drunk, isn't he, Mick? Me? No, never. <laughs> Mick don't drink. I've never seen Mick drink. I'm not always drunk. I, I do drink well. I'm drinking to that. I've, I've been on the tea. When I do these uh, interview ones, I don't drink. Yeah. I see him drunk doesn't... with Megan. Oh, I was hammered that night. Yes, it's good, Ned. Yeah. It really is actually good. Uh, I I, what I did, I poured the other, the uh, soapy watermelon in with the other watermelons, added a little more strawberry to it, and it's banging. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. This is nice. This is um, a strawberry ripe with um, whipped cream and Greek yogurt. And it was an experiment, and it's, it's lovely. There's most Very of the nice. stuff I've actually made, I'm, I'm able to uh, vape. I'm not mad, mad on blueberry like I thought I was, but I'm not. Yeah. Um, Have you checked out um, Reverend V's channel? Because he's yeah. into the high-end yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah Rev, he's, Rev's yeah. got... The thing about <laughs> Rev is you have to get a tissue when you watch Rev's reviews <laughs> because... <laughs> you know, basically, you you have to have something to kind of squirt into. You know, and I'm not drinking. talking your juice. Well, I'm talking your juice, but not the juice in your tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very good. I like Black Cat Cat as well. He's good. He's uh, Did you see the UK vape show the other day with Vic? Yeah. Um, you got Flat Cat Vapor there on live, and then I don't know what he's done with his computer software, but Flat Cat Vapor <laughs> appears in the background. Taking yeah. flat cap stuff off the shelf. Uh, <laughs> really yeah. Clever how he's done that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. We were we, we were got... talking to him. He said it it does take some doing. It's quite embarrassing talking to yourself. So yeah. we have ATC reviews and AVC reviews. And of course, it's um, it's Ian, isn't it? Above the cloud. I was trying to work out oh. who it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was wondering how how I didn't know yeah. who it was, and he's got a, a, a span. Of course, it's Ian, isn't it? I yeah, tell you, you what, you should get Ian. You should get Ian up on your show. Well, yeah, yeah, we're working. Yeah, we're working on. Well, the thing is, we we're going to get Ian on, but he wanted too much money, so we went for you because you were cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, and so. Oh, Benny, and, hello, mate. And Mark oh, did a really good. Yeah, Benny, Benny, while you're there, c can you do this with one hand? Just this better. with one hand. No, not 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 two hands. Just do one hand and do this. We were all in Frank's kind of chat last night, weren't we? That. Daytime Frank. 
Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, uh, we stopped by there and chat and talked to Frank. That was late on Yeah, it was 3 yeah, o'clock. Benny was 2.30 in the morning, I think it was. Benny said just what time it was when he was on there last night. I think it was 4 o'clock when I got in bed. I was... Um... Yep. Hi up, Benny. <laughs> hey, up. Hey, up. Hey, up, dope. He likes going down to my shit, bro. Yeah. Been no good, yeah, been no good getting in. I would have to do a recording with him in, in the middle of the afternoon because he's... Uh, he has to get up early in the morning. Who's that? Ian. Oh, he's, Ian. I think he's back at work, isn't he? Oh, no, he's back at work on the... I think it's another few weeks yet, is so... It? it looks like everything's yeah. going to be... First of June, there's going to be a lot, lot happening, and then first of July, I think the rest of it's going to get good. By he knows what so many spanners in a room. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, when, that's when I get drunk. <laughs> Everybody's good. I got the Vindicator, but it's not the clone, but no. I don't have the three kit. You know, it's just the uh, non-clone mm. edition. Mm. I've not got the clone max. CJ. Hey, CJ C- got one. VW. What's the, happening? What did CJ do wrong? What does he do wrong? Yeah, what did he do wrong? He got, he I think started. I was trying to get. I was trying to get. Uh, well, he, he he changes his name more than he changes his underwear. I think is why he doesn't have one. Uh, <laughs> you know, basically, I was trying to get him to put on some black lipstick and be goth. You know, because I think CJ could he'd could pass well. off goth real he'd, well. He'd get on well with that, wouldn't he? Because it was National yeah. Goth Day the other day. Yeah, it was Goth Day. You could have put it on. Yeah, that would have worked. Said to Benny before that um, yourself, Benny, and Bobo and Net Reality should come up with a, your own range of e-liquids and get uh, Bobo's contacts to produce it for you. Who me? Be a good thing. You, well, no, on uh, DIY Mix oh, Show. Yeah, with, they yeah, should. Yeah. On, on, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, because you've got like a following already. Yeah, it's, it's good right. to get the word of mouth out. As long as we didn't put watermelon in it, because then Net it'd can't be, do it. You know, <laughs> it'd be a good idea. Yeah, because I could get them in my shop for you. Sell them off, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it'd just be interesting anyway to have your name on the bottle, wouldn't it? You know, if, yeah. you, if you had some, you'd have to have, um, well, you'd just have to have a, a, a brand, wouldn't you? It was. Yeah. Stick them in mine and Bobo's shop, you'd be doing wonders. Yeah. Brew Brothers in Louth. In Louth, Lincolnshire, Stuart. I've heard of those. Yeah. Um, I sell, um, have you heard of Door Brothers? I sell their coffee. That's supposed to be a good coffee, so I sell that. Oh, I'm not a coffee lover, though, me at all. No. Uh, yeah. Well, Batman's coffee wasn't bad, but uh, basically it's a coil killer, but I've still got, I've got about that much left in about a third bottle of it. So I've gone through, yeah. I've gone killer, through though. 150 mil of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was supposed to get them in, but I never got round yeah. to it. Yeah. I haven't had, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten it. I basically the main two that I ended up by the time everything was said and done, the main two I ended up doing on that was the coffee and the uh, pineapple, the pineapple rum that, upside yeah. down, Kate. Okay. Yeah. I've still got that bottle of pineapple that I got from um, Vampire Vapes. Mm. I, I've had a bit of it, but the, the main one I ate was that. Um, Oh, what was it? Mojito. I love that. I, that went in a couple of days. It was lovely. Yeah, I sell that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. I don't, I'm, not keen on, I'm not keen on pineapple because it makes my throat dry. Mm. Some I've just well, I, I, things I've never got to it. You just get that much. I've got it in the boost at a 12 nick, uh, 12 milligram uh, MTL. Mm. in the boost and that's what i take with me when i go golfing because the nice thing about it is is you hit it and you get that nicotine buzz off of mm. it with the 12 where i usually vape a four and yeah and the flavor well. yeah and the flavor and everything else and then the thing is is you don't need it as much so you can take it but like i said i usually take it and the the vinci which i love the vinci when i first got it but the boost just kicks Da Vinci's ass. I mean, that's, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. A lot, actually. Pineapple yeah, doesn't I like go the, on uh, pizza. No, it doesn't. No, that's cake. No. Pineapple goes on cake. No. Pepperoni yes. goes on pizzas. Yes. And ham and sausage. Oh, and, no, I don't like pineapple and pizzas, me. No. You know, 
So you just got voted down, JP. Uh, should I should I delete that comment? No, I've, I've <laughs> yeah. The spanner off it. <laughs> yeah, the spanner's gone, JP. <laughs> JP's also shaved his hair. He shaved his hair off today, JP. Is he really? Yeah, well, yeah, that's all right. It could be it could be a man, but you can't be a man if you've got pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on pizzas? No, that's <laughs> it's blasphemy. <laughs> Tell you what, though, guys, your show's doing really, really well, isn't it? In a, in a short space of time, you've done <laughs> wonders. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Really, we just uh, decided to come on and talk to each other for a few hours at the time, and uh, we've had some really nice people on here as well. I think that you, I mean, yeah. you've obviously helped us out now with the videos yeah. and stuff like that, and the promotion for a start. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got anywhere. I don't think. But yeah. we had Matt. <laughs> Say again. We had Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah, what happened to Matt anyway? It was short lived, wasn't it? Yeah, he yeah. just. Um... <laughs> so, just not, laughing at not getting in contact with you anymore. I've, I've yeah, sent him a thing last night on. Um, uh, what, is it, what do they call that thing? But we used to. Because he's, he's on Discord, that's right. He's not on Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And. Um, so I sent him a thing saying I ain't heard you from a while. Like we're still mates, and I ain't, well, I, I ain't looked because I don't have the notifications switched, and I'd actually forgotten about it to be honest. But uh, yeah. uh, I, I've never, I ain't spoke to him. He was he moved out. I'd got rid of his um, internet for about a month, and then we just sort yeah. of carried on. Yeah, uh, and see, Ian said no pineapples are fruit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree, Ian. Yes. <laughs> I'm not, I, I can't. Anyway, I don't even know why we're discussing putting pineapple on pizza because it's ridiculous. <laughs> what happened to Des? That's what Benny wants to know. What's that? What happened to Des? That's what Benny wants to know. Des? Well, Des has got his own show, hasn't he? Yeah. There you go, um, Benny. That's what happened. Yeah, outcast, weren't it? Yeah, every day outcast. Yeah, it does. We're still on. We're on a, yeah. um, a WhatsApp group with him. Yeah, we uh, we we're outcast still, him. Yeah, we're still, we're so. still in contact with him. <laughs> yeah, and, no, it, um, and, and yeah, been Des really is busy. is uh, right. He has he's he's been working the entire time during the, uh, and his schedule doesn't really, uh, his schedule the way he works is like four on four off type thing, yeah. and so he's like he hits four Sundays and then four Sundays where he's at work, mm. and yeah. the show that they're doing now. What they're doing with the Everyday Outcast is, is they hit like because of the fact they got him in the UK, they got uh, Herb in Canada yeah. and Jordan in the US and in the Western part of the US, no less. And so they kind of hit this night for a while and then this night or whatever, and they're kind of flopping it back and forth some, which works out better for them to, mm. you know, yeah, to be on. I think. Is it, is I watched, uh, I watched them with MFA. Oh, all right, yeah. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, yeah, he was. I like MF at me. He's a yeah. good review. Yeah, I was, I was um, teasing him on Twitter about how slow he built. <laughs> yeah, I saw the build up actually on uh, TV. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good. It was funny as well, wasn't it? With that all that music, it was hilarious. Yeah, I was yeah. howling. My wife said, "What are you laughing at?" I said, "What's it?" What she obviously didn't understand, but and he's got a Simon Bates hour tune playing in the background and, all, and Roy's <laughs> recorder and all sorts of things. It was hilarious. One yeah. of the funniest things I've seen for a while. But right, what um, am I missing here? Because I haven't seen. I don't know what you're all talking about. MFA. MFA. Uh, can't was beat on... a Hawaiian pizza, Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. Yeah. Is that is that another one? What needs to go? Oh, Benny, you into pineapple as well, Benny? So Benny's banner is gone. Yeah, yeah another one gone. <laughs> Benny, you're not welcome in my shit shop anymore. If you like pineapple. <laughs> Yeah, they it's do not, not from... talk now. There was drama. No, there wasn't any drama. <sighs> he was on the other night in the chat, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he still stops by and says hi. We stop by and watch his. Uh, you know, it's all He's good. Not. Yes. Yeah. There's a good guy. You know, it's uh, the mech mod king. Des has got the mods, the mechs. Yes, yeah. He's got some gear there. Yeah. And it, the nice He's thing on. is... He puts it in the cabinet behind him, and going back to get it is what really makes the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some rat gear. He really has. He's got a cupboard yeah. full of it, and he, he's yeah. he's a nice guy. He's a really interesting guy, and it was, yeah. hey, he got mm-hmm. some coils with, with good mates. Yeah, he's, yeah. Had a, he's had a few problems, and he's also he's a, he's the um, he's in charge of 
uh, industrial cleaning at a, at a at a food plant. So obviously he's been that busy he hasn't had time to be on. And yeah. it's very rare you've even seen him on on their own show. They've only done a few because he's been that busy. And they say he's had a few problems as well, so he's been struggling a bit. Mike Forber. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Mike Monday. Forber, sound bloke. Met him and his lovely wife at the last expo we went oh, yeah, to. Yeah. See, I've, yes. I've never met him. I was just teasing him in, in, yeah. uh, on his Twitter. And then last mm-hmm. night, I said, they were a bit late coming on, and I just put in the thing. I put, it's all right, Mike's doing another build. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck off, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Simon. Sleep well. Height, yeah. Simon. Lynn says height. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not this time. I try and get on with everybody until I don't, and I don't. That's it. Yeah. I don't get along with anybody, you know. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The thing is with the internet, I always think there's a switch on it, and you just turn it off. What's the point? Yeah, you, stay... you be careful because people watch and then report on things. Yeah. So you yeah, I, I, you know, I actually, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have a problem with anybody because I don't really understand. <laughs> yes. I'm, yeah. I'm old so it's like what hey, what'd you say Sonny <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch that I, I, I'm trying to avoid drama in real life as well because it's yeah. just notably worse isn't it Maybe I never was- did I didn't even take drama in high school you know I mean we had drama class no I didn't you know it, it just yeah wasn't wasn't one of my wasn't on the curriculum as far as mine was concerned yeah, you all do have drama classes over there, right? Yeah, we used to. Yeah, I, I would, yeah it's cool. Yeah, I've always. I mean, Shakespeare do, and shit like that. I mean, you're, you know, oh, it's obviously, obviously. Yeah. Shakespeare, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sheboygan loves drama. He says, yeah. "No, wait, it's not." My eyes are messing up on me. I'm sorry, Terry. <laughs> Terry loves the drama. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your what's your plans in the future then, Dan? Are you going to have a chain of twenty shops, or are you just going to be happy with the one and make a living, or? Uh, I'm going to um, get more into CBD. I've started bringing in the tinctures and vape juice. I've said the wrong word as well, by the way. Sabada. Um, and I'm going to hopefully open another two shops um, locally. I won't say where, but locally. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's just a case of getting the right person to, you know, be a manager of them shops because you've got to put a lot of trust into them people. Yeah, you have. Uh, and with with vape products, it's very easy to steal from a company and yeah. they, they wouldn't know about it so yeah. it's just getting my shop more established because i'm still growing myself i've only been open what is it like i've been open 12 months on the 28th of june really uh, oh, right so you've been open yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah so, so are you gonna have a grand opening do you all do grand openings after a year is that what y'all uh i was gonna do it this year because the yeah. northern union vape show wanted to come to my shop and have a meet up I think Little Bro Vapes as well was going to come and uh, More Bro Vaping with More Bro. Um, Gaz Flat, Flat Cat Vapor wanted to come up as well. Uh, but because of the coronavirus, it's all gone to pot. Yeah. yeah, I can't make it over now either. I forgot to tell you that because of the coronavirus. I was going to come. <laughs> well, Mick was invited as well. Yeah. yeah so he nice. could come on your no, behalf. Cherokee. Yeah, I had to come. It depends what day it is. If it's, I mean, when we're busy, Cherokee? if it's weekend, it's no good to me. And it, that's the only problem yeah. I've missed most parties in the world. I was... I've actually booked an hotel for the expo, whether it's ever going to happen. But um, I can't see it, Mick. I mean, well, I love I can't it. Really. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I yeah, I can't see it. I'd actually make I don't a know. To go I don't it. know that. You know, but it's going to be October now. By then, we'll yeah. be rolling back around to where to start again. Yeah, you because know? I think it's really going to kind of die off some. It uh, basically they were. I mean, our numbers have dropped here. They've been opening shit up, and our numbers are actually going down. Mm. Georgia opened pretty much everything. Bowling alleys hairdressers, everything, like almost a month ago, and their numbers have remained the same. And they didn't, they just opened everything up. They were doing stay at home, stopped doing stay at home, opened everything up, everything, and just said go. And their numbers have still stayed the same. Mm. But no one knows for sure if they're fudging them or not. But I think they're probably fudging them because if you look at a lot of other places, it's gone up. You know, yeah, um, it's it's just you know, like I said, here ours have have actually started a down now. I mean, we were doing in Kentucky 190 to 220 to 240, and here the last three or four days it's been like 130, 128, 150, 140 in that range, and. Yeah. You know, so I think the warm weather has got a lot to do with it. Not so much that the heat does anything to it, 
But I think it's just where people get out and they're away. It's just like a flu virus of any other kind. Yeah. When you get to that summer, people aren't in those closed in spaces for any length of time. They're outside, you know, and that's where yeah. you want to be is outside. But so the, you go the doctor, golfing. The doctor has said, though, that there'll be a second wave when it gets cold. Yeah, well, when it gets cold again, that's the thing. This is you don't know. And like I said, Expo's in October, so it's going to yeah. start. You know, uh, you're going to crack back around to that. Well, it's only speculation, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing with everything. It's only speculation because it's never happened before. But would you just have no. to see, don't you? You have to hope that it's not going to be, and hopefully... That I'm sure Dan's it. got a conspiracy theory on it. Oh, he has one on everything. He still thinks... And Dan, I tried to explain to you that I was there when the dinosaurs died off, and <laughs> it was not aliens that came in and did it because I was there, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I think COVID will stop when they stop making those 5G towers. Yeah. yeah, right. That's, that's I, this, my conspiracy. I think basically just kick it up to 6G and, you know, get it over with. scoot right over 5, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I believe in all these theories, but I'm interested in other theories than what the government tell you. Mm. So it's good to be open-minded. I think. Well, I don't necessarily think that everything you hear is true. Yeah. Mm. But uh, sometimes you have to look at something and say, okay, that's possible, but yet, you know, it's like... What, who's gaining what? Well, and, and that's what in a lot of cases, I mean, shit, you know, you can go back and, and you can, you can question anything. If you start questioning everything, then, you know, you're, you're going to spend a lot of time just kicking shit around that. So you're going to spend your whole life doing that, working on theories. And yeah. it's like everything I know is wrong. And probably a lot of what you know is wrong. But yeah. by the same token, you know, what are you going to do about it? You know? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. What are you going to do about it? You can't do yeah. that. Are you going to lose sleep over it? No. If you lose think sleep over to, it, then it's kicking your ass. You know? It's good to be knowledgeable, though, because, like, my, my wife, she's like the everyday person who just watches Coronation Street and, mm. you know, uh, soap. So the only sort of news they'll hear is on Sky News, and a lot of it can be either fake or misinformed so they only believe whatever they hear in the tv where if you go deeper online yeah. you can find out other right. things but but the same token now see you just mentioned something is is uh, if you go online depending on where you go online you know if you go on facebook you got trust me there ain't much on facebook that's real <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah i'm not talking about yeah. facebook but... it, well that's what i'm saying you're saying if you go deeper online but you got to watch it because you tell somebody go online you'll get the facts and they're like oh my god i went on facebook and i didn't get fact one that's online <laughs> yeah. so yeah. But you, you, can know, also, you can also go on go online and listen to somebody's rambling mental illness can't you yeah, yeah. you can well, you can you can I mean, obviously you got to know what you what you're yeah. looking at and mm -hmm. stuff you can go online and uh, I mean, you can go online and you can go on YouTube and watch people ramble away about whatever mm -hmm. or this, that, yeah. or the other. But the thing is, I think to a certain extent, what it comes down to is you have to have enough of a mind to be able to realize that this guy is so full of shit he can't, you know, or this is whatever. Well, yeah, or, this. or yeah. hey, you know, when you stop and think about it, yeah, there's a possibility there. But like I said, do I stay awake at night wondering whether or not some of this? No. And, and because when you start getting to that point, then you've, you've gone down the rabbit hole too damn far. Yeah. You know? yeah. You've got to just yeah. cut it off. Somewhere. One of the, one of the, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on here, but obviously my lad's mentally ill. I've mentioned that. But the, one of the funniest things I ever saw were reviews for a mental health unit by the people who were mentally ill. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And you just think, well, <coughs> how are you going to get a positive review for a mental health unit from people who were, who were suffering? It's Yeah. It just seemed a weird thing to have would be a review for a mental health hospital. Yeah, definitely. Um, because it's never never going to be right. I would never listen to the world health. No, I wouldn't either after that thing that was just put up about vaping and it's actually a smoke plume coming out of a 12-year-old girl's mouth. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's it? like the, the CDC here. I mean, uh, you know, and basically what happens there is I think in a lot of cases – when you keep coming out with bullshit and then come out a month later and retract it. Yeah. And then when now all of a sudden they're saying, follow the CDC guidelines for yeah. COVID. Yeah. And you're saying, well, just a few months back, the CDC was coming out, giving me guidelines and then coming out a month later and saying, ah, we were wrong there. <laughs> <It's>, you know, <laughs> so you kind of lose confidence, you know, I mean, that's what it boils down to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Damn that <laughs> Roger Daltrey. Yes. <laughs> the who? Who? <laughs> Who's been, uh, Roger Daltrey? <laughs> he's been kicking off, hasn't he, with the other Pink Floyd member. Um, who? What's he called? Gil. The uh, other Roger Pink Daltrey. Floyd member? He's a Roger who. Daltrey's from the who. Oh, he's shit. Yeah, of course it is. What a dickhead. You're on about, you're on about Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Gil, Dave Gilmore and the other guy. What's the other guy called? Which one? The he Roger. Left, he left Pink Floyd. Yeah, Roger, Daltrey, uh, Roger Waters. Waters, yeah. that's it. That's who I'm thinking of, yeah. They've yeah. been falling out for 30 years, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they got together for four songs. <laughs> but since, I mean, the, 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 was it Live Eight they called it? Not Live Eight, where they, they went back and did that thing in Hyde Park and Pink Floyd actually played, didn't they? And right at the end, Roger Waters went across to shake their hand and they all ignored him and shook each other and just, just cold shouldered him. But it's years and years of. Um, hey, guess uh, where Pink Floyd <laughs> played at? Local to us. Go on. Home Fifth Picture Door. Did they really? Yeah. But hell, back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were watching uh, um, the one in Birmingham, the Australian Pink Floyd, and we sat next to a guy, and he said, "Oh, I saw him in the back of backyard of some pub in Birmingham." I said, "What are these?" He went, "No, the real Pink Floyd," because obviously they had to start one day, didn't they? They were just yeah. yeah. No, we Susan's auntie Jean said on Facebook, "The COVID was started by Big Jim at number." <laughs> 29 Jake Street when he fed his dog the neighbor's cat personally I believe her <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> with that's you, exactly yeah. I'm with you skin on that. <laughs> and Rod Stewart's had a stroke yeah is that real no that's Benny Benny's always trying to start drama <laughs> uh, probably Rod Stewart, uh, Rod Stewart possibly has um, yeah that's exactly right Rod is old he's as a, dirt he's, he's a, yeah he is yeah yeah, that's Rod right. was but, born, the Dead Sea was only sick. Yeah. What is he? He must be in his 70s. Got to be because I'm in my 60s and he was singing when I was a kid. Yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty older than that. Still having kids. They're older than <laughs> this, no, he's got to be 70s, Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. most likely. But then that, that's the thing that, that kills me there is this, all of the bands that I listened to, like when I was you know, teenager, that were older than I was then, I'm thinking, okay, it's really kind of hard to think of these people as being in their seventies because yeah. your your vision of them was when you were a That's kid right, and they yeah. were sitting and whatever else. Yeah. You know, but they all age. Isn't that amazing? Even the yeah. damn superstars age. Well, you, you know, I mean other than Keith you Richards. Are, you? you forget Keith how old Richards. you are, don't you? Yeah, Keith yeah. Richards yeah, he's never gonna get old. <laughs> he has an age. <laughs> I think uh, Rod Stewart they good remember? Couldn't get me fucking words out then. I think Rod Stewart did a really good track called Passion. Have you heard that one? Yeah, have you yeah, I listened, to, I listened to an interview with him, and he had all his money stolen once, you know, he was nearly skinned. One of his um, yeah. accountants embezzled his money, and, I, and it was, it was, and I can't remember what the fig, figure was, and I can't remember the exact date, but it was something that he lost all his money up until 1979 or something like that. It just disappeared. Because Sting lost nine million by, by a crooked accountant, and they took him to court. Uh, and they just said, well, when did you realise it was gone? And and he'd been pinching off him for years, and he'd pinched £9 million. And the judge said, well, how can you not know where £9 million gone? Yeah, and yeah. It's like Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith. He's fucking lost, like, over £100 million quid from Has corrupt. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. yeah. I lost uh, dollar ninety seven, and I knew exactly where the hell it went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny man, will you strike up one for my farts, brother? <laughs> See, I married a, an accountant, so I've there been always alright right since I married her. Yeah, I bet you will. Yeah, I bet you have to get a receipt for everything, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a wallet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I can shoot matches way further than two meters. <laughs> Straight shooter. Well, well done. Well, he didn't say he could shoot it straight. He said he could shoot it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Two meters. It, it, directions wise, as I mean, you know, <laughs> hey, there is a, you know, it, there's a certain spray once it gets out so far. You know, it doesn't just stay on a line. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. I yep. think we should call yeah. it a day because my mission should. I think oh, so. We, we never asked you when you come on how, how long you it, wanted to stay. We, we, it we wasn't a quick week. live, though. That's no, what you have to understand. Live, yeah. Yeah. I love going on the show. Live, it's, still uh, be here. it's cracking. I, it's I've been like on. Yeah, in your earlier days, I was on work with Benny and mm. I was on the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Seems funny when you look back at the old shows now because it said Zoom in the corner of the thing and we were just, uh, are we on yet? Are we on yet? And then we got to work OBS <laughs> and Benny told us how that worked. And, yeah. and then I sat there one night, I, I got a bit of knowledge off him and then a bit of knowledge off Lethal Coils and I sat there one afternoon on my own when it was quiet and I actually made OBS work. That was one of my satisfying things. I've still got a master that yet. I downloaded it today. It's not OBS. difficult. If if you, it's just you do it in scenes, like Benny says. You he'll go, give you a he'll give you a lesson when we get. Yeah, I'll have to zoom you, Mick. Uh, <laughs> have a conference call with all you lot. Mm-hmm. Well, Benny, Benny is, Benny's the man, isn't he? He is. He's actually the guy who fucking yeah, more yeah. or less purchased my PC that I've just got. Yeah, right? I'm not computer. Right. Yeah, but anyway. th- from what I understand, the uh, support is shit. Though tech support with Benny is just not that good. <laughs> 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 It's time we ended. Thanks ever so much, everybody, for coming. See you later. I'll, I'll give J- JP a spanner back anyway, even though he bloody likes pineapple yeah. and pizzas. Yeah, pineapple and Benny. Yeah. Uh, it's been a, a very enjoyable show, John. Thanks ever so much for coming on. Thank you for having yep. me. Uh, Appreciate it, Dan. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Man. Next, We've got a few on for the next few weeks. We've got somebody on next week, somebody on the week after, and somebody on the week after that. I think we booked up up till the is it 14th of June, I think. Can you drop any names? No. What we do is we uh, announce them on on a, on a Monday yeah. on the video. Uh, yeah. On, yeah. The the our next week's guest will be announced tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. yes. Well, With will, the video. Yes. Yeah. Well, if if I get the um, if I get the avi that I need to make one up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming, and we might be here on Tuesday, but I'm not sure. I definitely won't be here on Friday yeah. anymore because uh, it's getting to that. Yeah. Uh, that time. Right. Tuesday's a possibility, Friday's a no. no. Yeah. So if we don't turn up on Tuesday, we'll see you next Sunday with another guest. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Sleep well, everyone. Yeah.